All right, Tiger Rock, here we go. Here's the workout for Thursday, March the 19th. Again, go back to Tuesday. It was round kick day. Yesterday was side kick today. Today is front kick day. I've got Ms. Schaefer and Ms. Guy. They're going to go to the bags. It all starts with those two pressing front kicks. Ladies? Yes, sir. You're going to hold on to the bag. This time, they're going to go ahead and make a back stance like they're facing the opponent. They're just going to hold on to the bag to steady themselves. There is no pivoting of your foot because you're already in the back stance. They're just going to pick the knee straight up. The knee points at the target. Toes are pulled back, so they're not pointed down. Hardest part of this, as you get more advanced, as you kick out, our goal is to point the foot and pull the toes back. You can't do that right now. Hey, it is what it is. Let's just practice getting our legs stronger. They kick out. So again, she's got the foot pointed and the toes pulled back. The ball of the foot is our striking surface right there. They pull back. Have fun trying to hold it that long at home, by the way. They made it look really easy. They kick out. They pull back. Then they would switch feet. They make their L, their back stance with the other leg in front, holding the bag just to steady themselves. The other hand is up. They lift the knee, extend out, pull back. Notice the knee doesn't move. The knee stays up. It's not sweeping. Extend out, pull back. As they pull back, see the toes are still pulled back. Then they're going to go out to their dots. They hit two with each leg. The same sequence, number one, number two, number three. So they're in their back stance. Uh, let's go left leg. There you go. Front leg front kick, back leg front kick. Now it's going to be a little hopping jump front kick. That's a number three. Then they slide back to their spot. The other leg's in front. Number one front kick, back leg number two front kick, hopping number three front kick. Just a little hop. They would do that. Then the finisher today, a 30 second wall squat. So they're going to go right back there because we got a wall they can squat against. They're going to go down and try to get it all parallel to the ground. They hold it nice and strong for 30 seconds. Let's see if they can do one, two, I probably ought to actually do seconds, right? So have a stopwatch ready. Don't trust your parents to count for you because they may count really, really slow. And we'll say that's time. All right, so they got their 30 second wall squat. They would go right back in to their pressing kicks, then their numbered kicks, back to the wall squat. The goal is five sets of that or however many you can get done in a 10 to 15 minute period. There's your workout of the day for Thursday, March the 19th. All right, thanks.